Well, as big models go, this is a big model. And to begin with, it comes in a big box. It's a truck model and it's by NZG and it's in the big scale of 1 to 18. It's a Mercedes Benz Actros L Gigaspace 4x2 and it's model number 1077 55. And this model represents edition 3 of the truck. Let's weigh it up. There's some heavy lifting for the giant hand cranes because the box weighs 11 pounds, which is just over a full 5 kilograms of heaviness. We move swiftly on to open the box and see what is inside. And we're confronted with some whopping pieces of expanded polystyrene and there's a brochure we'll look at very shortly. Going to the top we see there's something tucked inside. And the first is a bag containing some gloves and a screwdriver and a couple of other bits. And there's another bag containing a foot plate. We stick the knife right in to do some careful cutting and that achieves enough to be able to lift off the top half of the tray. But before we go further we'll look at the brochure and that starts with a piece of paper with some legal stuff on it. And then we've got some unpacking instructions and we can see that we need to remove the signed pieces before carefully lifting the model out. The second half of the brochure covers other aspects of the model. And that includes fitting a battery because this model has some electronic components. So there you have it, it covers pretty much everything you need to know. And with that information we can now go back and get the model out of the packaging. So there is a little bit of assembly to do, there's a battery to fit and also a foot plate. To fit the battery we need to tilt the cab and then we can use the supplied screwdriver to take the cover off of the battery compartment. Once that's done we can fit the button battery and it is of a standard type so you can easily replace it if you need to. With the battery in we just put the cover back on and that completes the use of the screwdriver. There is a supplied foot plate which we can install behind the cab and it's a nice snug fit if it's the right way round. Let's weigh it up again. It's another big lift for the giant hand cranes and the model is a muscle busting 9 pounds 4 ounces which is nearly 4.2 kilograms. <laughs> We start underneath and as you would expect with a large scale model like this there's plenty of detail. We can see the underside of the engine and there's a full transmission to the rear axle. And the modelling in that area is quite complex. Between the axles we have various parts of the exhaust system and also fuel tanks. The tyres have different tread patterns front and rear. Looking close up it even looks like you can see disc brakes in the wheels. With the world the right way up we start with the cab roof and its shape is finally reproduced. There are a couple of small stub aerials and there are air horns on either side and also particularly nice are the two aerials, one at the front and one over the driver's side. Another nice touch is that the roof light is properly formed complete with a see-through window. The visor above the cab is also very finely detailed and we see the edition free sign. There is one mirror over the windscreen and you can see that the interior detail is also reproduced really well. And of course as you would expect there are windscreen wipers. The big front grille looks especially impressive in this large scale. There's the large Mercedes-Benz logo and very fine etched grilles. Also looking particularly good are the various lights. And there's no number plate on this model because it's a generic vehicle rather than one from a fleet. 
There are no side mirrors because this truck has cameras. And what looks like mirrors inside the cab are screens. The shape of the cab is really good. And the tiny graphics are perfectly formed. There are very nice etched steps leading up into the cab. And perhaps the only thing missing in the detailing is some branding on the tyres. The wheels themselves are very smart. The fairing between the wheels includes steps up. And there's also some coloured highlighting. The wheel arches at the back look very realistic in colour. And the rear wheels also have that very nice dark finish. At the back the lights have plastic lenses. Which is good because they are real lights. And there's also small tanks with some hoses attached. And there's also a fixed wheel chock. The back of the cab is also very finely modelled with the big Actros name cast in it. And all aspects of the structure are rendered very well. Moving down there are some coiled airlines. And the stepping surfaces behind the cab have an excellent texture. The caps on the tanks almost look like they can be unscrewed. <laughs> Out we go onto the Autobahn, and it rolls just like a piece of precision engineering, no doubt helped by the very heavy weight. The steering works well, and the truck smoothly turns a corner. Included with the model is a spare wheel chock in case it's likely to move in the display case, and working suspension is also modelled. This is the front, and it's no surprise when I say this is the rear. The coiled lines are nicely clipped onto the back of the cab, but you can unclip them if you want. And another smoothly working feature is the lock on the fifth wheel. And that slides in and out nicely. You can lift up the front grille, and that lets you see some of the detailing underneath it. And it's all in a big enough scale to be interesting. The cab is clipped in place, so it takes some effort to unclip it in order to tilt it. But even though that cab is really heavy, it's not unbalancing the truck. Of course, again, in this large 1 to 18 scale, the detailing of the engine is really excellent. So it is well worth having a good look at. The cab features opening doors on each side. They open widely and that lets you see some more excellent detailing inside, including lit up computer screens. And there's also another small feature here, which is the armrests, which can be raised or lowered. Also, you can see that the steering is actually linked to the steering wheel, but the steering wheel doesn't obviously turn much. The doors snap shut, so don't get your finger caught. In terms of electronics, there's a touch sensitive button and you can see that the rear lights come on and they're very bright. And if we turn the truck around, we can see that the front lights also come on. And that includes a light at the logo and inside the cab. Of course, any tractor like this really deserves a trailer. So let's attach the big NZG 1 to 18 scale container trailer. It fits easily to the fifth wheel and then locks in place. And then the giant hand cranes can perform a heavy lift with the container. And now you have a really impressive model. And just for comparison, here is a 1 to 50 scale tractor. This large scale Mercedes Benz Actros Gigaspace by NZG looks great in this scale and it's very impressive. It has a very high metal content so it's very heavy and of course it allows a much higher level of detailing being such a big scale. All of the working features of the model are also very well engineered and this edition free version of the Actros looks great paired up with a suitable trailer. It is excellent. Thank you.